Hi, welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 4-101 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitudes of couple moments M1, M2 and M3 so that the resultant couple moment is zero. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to express these moments into Cartesian vector form. So if you look at the figure, then M1 is parallel to the y-axis. So it has only one component in the y-axis direction. So M1 is equals to M1 J. For the couple moment M2, M2 is also parallel to the x-axis but in the negative direction. So we have M2 is equals to negative M2i. For the couple moment M3, I have to find the coordinates, coordinates of this point and that point. So let's say the first point is point O and the second point is point A. So the coordinates of point O are 0, 0, 0, 0 fit and the coordinates of point A are it's 2 in the x-axis, negative 2 in the y-axis and 1 in the z-axis. Now M3 is equals to its magnitude and the unit vector along its line so it is UOA UOA in turns is equals to ROA position vector divided by its magnitude so UOA can be written as 2i minus 2j plus 1k divided by square root of 2 square plus negative 2 square plus 1 square so UOA is equal to 2 over 3 i minus 2 over 3 j plus 1 over 3 k If I put it right here in the place of UOA, then M3 in the Cartesian vector form can be written as 2 over 3 M3i minus 2 over 3 M3j plus M3 over 3k. We have one more moment and the value is given which is 150 LB so to resolve 150 LB fit I have to draw its projection this is its projection let's label it this is 150 cos 45 Now this projection has two components, one about x-axis and another about y-axis. So we have one component right here and one component to the opposite of y-axis let's label them to this right here is 150 cos 45 sine 45 and this horizontal component is 150 cos 45 and cos 45 
and 150 LB fit has one vertical component parallel to the Z axis. So it is if I draw it going downwards. Let's label them. Let's label it too. So it is 150. Since it is a positive this 45 degrees, so it is sine 45. So now if I write M4, M4 is equals to the I component is in the same direction to the positive x axis, this component. So we have 150 cos 45 cos 45 I the y component this component is opposite to the direction of positive y axis so we have negative 150 cos 45 sin 45 j similarly we have one vertical component which is which is also opposite to the positive z axis so it is negative 150 sin 45 k so m4 in terms of cartesian vector form can be written as 75 i negative 75 j negative 75 root 2 k so now we have resolved all the couple moments So now, according to the given condition, resultant couple moment is zero, which means that sum of m of x is equals to zero, sum of m of y is equals to zero, and sum of m of z is equals to zero. So we have three equations and three unknowns, so we can easily find them. So if I use sum of m of x is equals to 0 then m1 has only j component but m2 has the i component so it is negative m2 then m3 has 2 over 3 m3 and we have positive 75 here is equals to 0 let's call this equation 1 another equation is sum of summation of moments in the y-axis so we have m1j minus 2 over 3 m3 negative 75 is equals to 0 this is equation 2 then we have mz is equals to 0 So we have m3 over 3 minus 75 root 2 is equal to 0. This is equation 3. From equation 3 m3 is equal to 318.2 lb fit if you put the values of m3 in equation 2 and 1 
then you can find the values of m1 and m2 so putting m3 is equals to 318.2 in equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 is equal to 287.13 LB fit and M1 from equation 2 is equal to 287.13 LB fit so this is the answer to this problem I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any problem in understanding this component that how I resolved this 150 LB fit component sorry 150 LB fit moment in clutch component then you can ask them in the comment section and I will explain it again so take care thanks